Oh, I would love this one. <laughs> Goodness, what on earth? It's you. Are you all right? <sighs> I should have known our paths would cross like this again. You hurt. And me, forced to nurse you back to health. You needn't worry. My heart is just shy this way. <laughs> and by now you know well that I can pick you up with ease. I'm quite larger than you. There you are. Come with me. Let's lay on this bed of moss. Nice and soft for you. What seems to be the problem this time? Before, I believe you had fallen twisted your ankle, something of the sort. What have you gone and gotten yourself into now? You seem a bit dazed, as if you've hit your head. <laughs> Did I hit it right on the mark? I just tend to have a sense about these things. Why don't you open your eyes wide for me? I must assess the damage. See if you are concussed. <laughs> Beautiful, you say. My. You must have hit your head hard indeed to think that I am beautiful. Let's see. You don't appear to be concussed. But you're saying quite funny things. Are you sure you're feeling alright? Tired. Yes. Being sleepy does strange things to the mind. How long have you been awake for? Three days? My. You are indeed in need of rest. No, no, don't get up. A pillow. I. I don't believe I have one. I could craft one for you out of moss. My lap. Yes, I suppose it is cushy enough. Are you sure? I would not want to embarrass you. Not that there is anyone around to see. <laughs> All right. If you insist. Hmm. <laughs> you fit perfectly between my thighs. Your head nestled in there. You're quite small and delicate. No wonder you're always getting hurt. <laughs> Suppose you have a knack for such things. Stumbling around, ending up with beautiful girls to take care of you. <laughs> oh. 
I don't think your actions have gone unnoticed. You've bumped into many a monster girl here in this cave. All of which have nursed you back to health to some degree. We all may be separated. However, word travels fast regardless. You needn't worry. I'm not one to judge. Mm, not at all. Really? I quite enjoy it, actually. Nursing one back to health makes me feel... of use. Wouldn't you agree? Helping people gives you that same feeling. See, I knew you'd agree. Perhaps it is one of those universal things. Why people like to do nice things for each other. So, if you don't mind my asking, what exactly is it that brings you to my part of the cave on this fine evening? Hmm. You can't seem to remember. How convenient for you. You needn't worry. I don't really care what it is your motives are. The company is always welcome. Especially when it is you. Are you beginning to feel worse? Your face is heating up and turning quite red. Have I done something wrong? Perhaps your condition is worse than I thought. You feel fine. Are you sure? Nervous? Now why on earth would you be nervous? Perhaps then it wasn't a result of you hitting your head. You really think me to be beautiful? <laughs> I... You were very kind. You are so small. Does my size not frighten you? Even in the slightest? Well, that is a relief, then, I suppose. However would we happen to maintain our friendship if you were afraid of me? <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Well then, perhaps you would ought to get some rest. I honestly can't for the life of me imagine why you're still awake. No, don't fight it. You must sleep, darling. You need it. Very much so. Hmm. 